Hey, this is John with FixYourDirtBike.com, and this is how to replace the rear wheel bearings on your dirt bike. Replacing the bearings on your bike is a very simple job. The bearings are press fit, so you will need fire and a hammer to remove them. Before you tackle this bearing change, make sure to visit FixYourDirtBike.com for the detailed step-by-step -step walkthrough. The tools you will need are a garage floor, two long 2x4s, socket and breaker bar for the axle nut, wrench for the chain adjuster jam nut, wrench for the chain adjuster, a block of wood, a tire spoon, bearing retainer tool, a drift, socket for the inner bearing race, bigger socket for the outer bearing race, a socket wrench extension, a propane torch, a hammer, a finishing file, parts cleaner, a towel, safety glasses, and finally, gloves. The only parts you will need are a new set of bearings and seals. I run factory links because these bearings are double shielded. This means I don't need to pre-grease them, and because they are sealed, they'll resist water contamination longer than single shield bearings. If you haven't ordered your new bearings yet, I put a link below for the exact ones I use. Besides the block of wood, the only specialty tool you need is a bearing retainer tool. I would normally make a DIY tool for this sort of thing, but there are two very good reasons not to. As you will find out, the bearing retainer is very brittle, so using homemade tools can easily break it. Secondly, the retainer tool only costs $12, whereas the retainer itself costs $16. Not only will breaking the retainer cost more, but now you have to order a new one and wait around while your friends go riding without you. If it is too late, you can get your new retainer and tool through the link below. Place your bike on a stand and remove the rear wheel. Using the lip of your tire spoon, pry out the old seals. Clean out the hub and old bearings as much as you can. Remove the bearing retainer. If the retainer is hard to turn, lightly tap the end of your wrench with a hammer until you see movement. Do not force the retainer. Your rear wheel has three bearings, two on the sprocket side and one on the brake side. Always start and end with the brake side bearing. Insert your drift from the sprocket side up to, but not touching the brake side bearing. Work your drift up and down to dislodge the distance collar. Place your wheel brake side up on your 2x4s so only the rim and tire are supporting the wheel. Heat the hub, not the bearing, for 60 seconds. This makes the hub expand slightly, which relieves the pressure on the bearing. Flip your wheel over and align your socket to the inner bearing race and tap until the brake side bearing falls out. Side note, don't tap too hard because the sprocket side bearings are seated against the lip inside the hub. Striking the inner bearing race too hard will break the socket side bearings, then you have to chip the outer bearing race out of the hub. Not only is this annoying, but you could also damage the hub. Repeat the heat and beat process for the sprocket side bearings. Clean and inspect the hub, hub components, and swing arm mounts for any signs of wear or damage. File off any burrs or chips. Do not remove any material when smoothing the ends of the hub components. The spacers and distance collar need to be an exact length to work properly. If the ends are damaged, they need to be replaced. As you can tell, water has contaminated the hub and bearings, and the distance collar and hub have some corrosion. If you find this on your bike, file off the corrosion as much as you can without removing too much metal, then think about the importance of grease and good seals. Once everything is cleaned and smooth, test fit your new bearings. They are a driven fit, so they should not slip into the bore. If your bearings do slip into the bore, you will need to replace your hub. Set your wheel on your block of wood so only the hub is supported. Throughout this install, you will need to grease everything, so keep a towel nearby. Start your install with the inner bearing on the sprocket side. Grease the bore, then line up your new bearings flush to the hub. Align your large socket to the outer bearing race and drive the bearing into the bore. Apply another coat of grease and repeat the driving process with the second bearing. Apply another coat of grease and drive your seal into the bore, making sure the seal retention spring is facing in. Stack your spacers and axle block on the axle and drop it into the hub, then flip your wheel over. The axle will now be the guide to align the distance collar and the brake side bearing. Apply grease to both ends of the distance collar and drop it into the hub. If your axle is too tall for your socket, set your hub on the 2x4 as you used earlier and let the axle drop between them. Grease the bore and install your last bearing. Install the bearing retainer hand tight. Apply your last layer of grease and install the bearing seal spring side in. Torque the bearing retainer to manufacture a spec. Remember to take your time and your bearing replacement will go smoothly. You can always visit FixYourDirtBike.com for a more detailed walkthrough, but if you have any questions or anything to add, please let me know in the comments. If you want to help take Fix Your Dirt Bike to the next level, check out my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe.